Passports are only made in shades of blue, red, green and black. Having a passport colour, which is interesting given that there are only four passport colours widely used in the world. If you have ever been on the internet, and for some reason I suspect you have, you have probably run into one of those articles or videos that tells you this. And as someone who collects passports, I can tell you that this is absolute bullshit. Today I'm going to debunk this misconception that passports only have four colors. First of all, if you have been watching my videos on the channel, you have known that old passports come in all sorts of colors, often in beige or khaki because of their materials. Oh, check out my review of the old Austrian passport, linked up there. This fact alone disproves the misconception that passports only have four colors. And that's it for the video. Thank you for watching. Alright, I see you wanna play like that, but even after adding that qualifier, it's still not true because there are yellow passports. No, 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 not that one yet, although I suspect very soon. Uh, let's use another example, the Rakhoi passport, which is also yellow. This passport is used by the Nationals of the Six Nations, a league of indigenous American tribes in northeastern United States and Canada. The passport is not issued by either Canadian or American government, which raised some questions on its legitimacy. There have been successful cases of using this passport as well as failed ones. So you're saying this is not a quote-unquote real passport. Sounds a little racist, since the Six Nations people were here in North America long before George Washington or John A. Madonna. But alright, let's narrow down to passports from countries that's recognized internationally. And in that case, we have to talk about special passports, which are usually in different hues than the ordinary citizen's passports. See my video about the Bosnian service passport. For example, the Turkish service passport issued to government officials are grey like greyhounds. In India, the official passport, which is just another name for service passport, comes in snow white. And hold on, I haven't even got to the real exciting ones yet. Behold, the Dutch emergency passport. <coughs> In an effort to keep up with the Joneses, the British emergency passport is equally ambiguous, somewhere between yellow and white. By now, this sentence is getting longer and longer, but even so, I present to you the Vanuatu passport, which is again yellow, at least if you get through the investment program. You see, there are a lot of small countries that are willing to grant you their citizenship for a large sum of money. The Pacific Island nation of Vanuatu is one of them. However, making money by diluting the value of your citizenship is not a popular move. On top of that, Vanuatu applies very little scrutiny on the applicants, drawing international criticism that the country is creating a loophole for criminal activities. As a gesture to address these concerns, Vanuatu's Deputy Prime Minister announced in 2020 that the investors, aka who paid money to get honorary citizenship, would get a different color passport, a yellow one, in order to differentiate with the ordinary green one. Putting the morality of selling passports and establishing a second class citizenship aside, the passport is indeed yellow like a traffic light. I guess you can't say passports only come in blue, green, red, black without mentioning yellow. Hey, you're finally doing it right, but you do realize how ridiculous this sentence looks, right? 
My point is, the world of passport is way bigger than you can imagine, and using a blanket statement like passports only come in four colors is not doing a good job in conveying the intricacy of the real situation. All right, all right, genius, we get it. You know a lot about obscure passports that no one has ever heard of. So what? In everyday life, the only passport that matters is the ordinary passport, the majority of which are red, blue, green, or black. Yes, I agree, but only kind of. For example, the passport rankings often list the Japanese passport as having a red cover, completely ignoring the fact that adult Japanese citizens can choose between red and blue when applying for a passport. While it might be easy to dismiss the Japanese passport as an outlier, the nuance remains even when it comes to single-color passports such as the new British passport. After Brexit, the British government decided to change the color of the British passport from the EU standard burgundy red back into navy blue. However, confusion started spreading when people actually got their hands on the new version because they couldn't tell if it's blue or black. This color has sparked endless arguments and discussions amongst the people and there's no real definitive answer. The problem of claiming that there are only four definitive colors on passports is that colors actually belong on a spectrum. On the one end of blue, you could have extremely bright canyon passport, or the UN lacy pass la la se pass, or if you go to the other end, you get the extremely dark British one. And believe it or not, the color on the cover is often not the most important element for a passport. In the British example, the controversy stems from the fact that the government did not specify which shade of blue it wanted on the passport. This is not likely an administrative error. Instead, when I was working for the government, the most important thing when it comes to passport design was security. In other words, anti-forgery. The cover material of a passport from any serious country is usually made out of dozens of ingredients through complex procedures. This is so that no other manufacturers can counterfeit, or at least not down to the same level of details. And the final color is often a compromise of multiple factors because different materials reflect light differently. A great example of this is the EU passports. The red color that you see on European passports is called a common design feature, which was recommended by the European Parliament in multiple resolutions, and most countries follow the decision and change their passport cover into burgundy. However, as you can tell, they are all in different shades of red, because as long as the color is within the acceptable range, then the energy should be spent on anti-forgery. I'm not saying that color isn't important, on the contrary, making sure that all passports have consistent color is crucial, but in the end of the day, a country's passport color could change drastically over time, and rather than obsessing over its meanings, we should just enjoy the beauty. Hey guys, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to know more about immigration and passports, hit the bell. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.